All right, now we're going to introduce finding probability of either event occurring or both events occurring. So now you have was either or type events. So here's your formula. Okay, you still have the probability of event A instead of multiplying it by the probability probability of event B, we add the probability of event B and then we subtract the overlap, which simply means both events occur at the same time. So, important definition here. You have what's called mutually exclusive or non-overlapping events. That definition simply says that both events cannot occur together. So, we're going to always make that distinction as, as we go through solving probability questions for either or type events. So looking at our previous example from two slides back, still have our 10 pair of socks, uh, still have our seven t-shirts. Now the question in this case is, what is the probability that at least one, either the, the pair of socks or the t-shirt is white? Okay. So we're going to do the probability of a white t-shirt, which we know we have seven to choose from, three of which are white. The probability of a white pair of socks. is 6 out of 10, but we're going to simplify that or reduce it to 3 fifths. And then we have what's called the probability of an overlap. So which simply means both are white. So find that overlap, we simply go three sevens because this can happen at the same time because we, we're drawing a t-shirt and a pair of socks at the same time. So we need to multiply three sevens times three fifths, which is nine thirty fifths. Okay, so find the probability of a white t-shirt or a white pair of socks. We're going to take our three sevens plus our three fifths and we're going to subtract nine thirty fifths all right, now notice your denominators are not the same, so you need a common denominator. In this case, it's 35. So we're going to 3 sevenths becomes 15 out of 35. If we multiply the numerator and denominator here by 5. Okay, the three fifths, we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by seven. So we end up with 21 over 35 minus nine over 35. Now notice, notice in this case, All the denominators are 35. So we just add our numerators, 15 plus 21, which is 36. Now, stop there. If we, if we wouldn't have subtracted out this overlap, we would have potentially had 36 over 35, which means our probability is greater than 1, which would be incorrect. So we know with 36, 
minus 9, which is 27. Okay, and 27 out of 35, there's no common multiple. So that is their solution. 27 out of 35. And again, convert it depending on the directions given in the question. All right, so now what if we have a table? Okay, they gave us a table of test scores for a group of students, male and female students, and you, you've got A's, B's, and C's. Okay, now we need to find the probability that a student was female or the student got a B. So let's go. So probability of a female student Right, we use that row. So female students, we have a total of 26. Now remember, probability is, by definition, desired outcome or theoretical probability. Desired outcome over total outcomes. So 26 out of 65 students were female. Probability that a student earned a grade of B Two students out of 65 and now we have to subtract the overlap meaning both of these events happen at the same time so we're going to subtract out the overlap in this case it's right here you notice the highlight you got four students so Female students that earn B's. That's four out of 65. Okay, so now to answer this probability question, we add our 26 out of 65 plus 22 out of 65 minus four out of 65. Okay, so that's 48 minus 4, which is 44 out of 65. And again, that's simplest form. So that's how you find the probability of an OR statement or what you would call an either statement. Uh, in, in this particular case, we were given a table.